Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Andy Marcus here again. You know, I have spent a lot of time talking to you about cleaning up our lives, cleaning up our environment, and creating a different kind of life that we kind of speak of generally that we all want. And for some time, we have had people from various various walks of life come and tell us their perspectives about how to achieve these things. And uh, truth of the matter, sometimes when we try them, some of them seem to have been okay, others not so. Today, I want to speak on the subject matter, it's God's way or the other. And the reason that I speak on that today is because I had an awakening. It had to do with the message that I brought to you previous. The message, that message, and I'm going to refer that you get a chance to check it out. It's called God Offers This and Trump Offers That. God Offers This and Trump Offers That. And what it basically does, it describes exactly your relationship with God. Your being here on this earth and the plan that has been made for you and how this thing is supposed to work out for you. It tells you basically in some details, enough to give you uh, questions if you have, and require answers. On the other hand, you got Trump. And what Trump represents is all of the ugliness that has happened in America since he's been here, all the ugliness that happened in America since America's inception in calling itself a nation. Trump and all of the people that rep that supports him represents that. And what I'm referring to that as evil. I'm referring that as evil. Where as if I refer to the other as God, then I refer to this as the devil. So it's either God or it's the devil. And what I basically mean is this. <clears throat> Many people are ignorant. And they require that those who know God, those who have a relationship with God, must express it. They must show action. They must reveal the character. So that these people who don't know anything about God, really, except what they've heard, can look at this as a teaching mechanism a teaching mechanism to show them a counsel against evil by showing them something else. Humans are, you and I are to learn of God and act as God. We are to learn of God. We might have known as a baby, you hear some say we did, some say we don't, I don't know anything about that. I'm just saying we don't now. And if we do, it's, hey, it's, it's dead, it's hidden. But we are to know God. And we are to act as God. <clears throat> really, my friends, in the flesh, God is a spirit. We are to act as God in the flesh. You and I are to act as God in the flesh. You heard somebody talk about Jesus, and you heard some others that are representative of Jesus throughout times prior to that. But they were basically doing the same thing it is required of us today. And anyone that's led of the love of God, of the truth of God, will act the same way. Now, everyone else that is not walking according to God's plan is an agent of evil, knowing or unknowing. That I care what kind of what what role you play in the walk of life, what job you get, how much money you get, how you are respected. I don't care if you're the president of any country. I don't care if you're the CEO of any corporation. I don't care if you're the president of any bank, president of any institution. I don't care if you're a genius. I don't care what you are. If you are not supporting God's plan for humankind on earth, 
you are supporting evil. You are an agent of evil. Knowing or unknowing doesn't make any difference. But it's not just your fault. Because how are you going to know about God? Everything that is being reflected in our lifetime is evil. Evil. When it comes down to anything that's good, it's basically talk. And sometimes that doing of good that does not really cause anything, really doesn't threaten anything, they will permit you to do that so you can give some semblance to kid yourself as if you're doing God's work. That is a part of the scheme as well. <clears throat> now, knowing means that you know what you're doing. You know you're an agent of evil. And you support evil. Now, unknowing means you are as dangerous. Yes, you are as dangerous as any other. You're just as dangerous as one who's sitting out there and spread any the evil. Either, or should I say, either your ignorance or lack of empathy and compassion makes you useless. Useless, my friends, for the work you were created to do. Useless for the work you were created to do. You are not a threat to evil. And it becomes the norm. So, <clears throat> what I have been basically doing is what other people have done. You know you got good people in society. And we always talk about people going to heaven. Everybody seems to go to heaven. <clears throat> At least there are a group of people everywhere that are going to send everybody to heaven. Now, we don't really know what's going on there. But if we were going to pretend as if that was so, that somebody actually went to heaven, then you would think that there would be criteria. Criteria to get you there. And one says, if you're accepting criteria, there had been a message that was passed down that says that there were those in heaven who ran across something like Donald Trump and Hitler and Putin and Mussolini and those kind of guys up in heaven. And they deceive the angels, a portion of them. But they had no further home in heaven. They had to get out, which basically means here on this earth, we have been overcome with evil. Little love here and there, but overcome with evil. So if there was a war to really get between evil and kindness or the devil and God, it appears as if the devil would be the daylights out of God. Unless God actually stood and made a miracle in the name of humankind. And ask you this, what sense would it do to make or uh, to cause a miracle in the name of humankind when humankind still is in love with evil? When they, even if God came to their rescue, having been rescued, would still turn to evil. <clears throat> For instance, look back at the people who have been flooded out. People who home over the past decades have been wiped out in floods, burned up, destroyed in hurricanes and tornadoes, but had them rebuilt. Did their attitude about the way life has been, did it really change? If they were supporting, let's say, evil, because they weren't supporting God at that time, having supported evil at during the midst of all of that, and when they, and I'm assuming that they had, re, they, everything was rebuilt, things got good again, did they change? Did they go and start representing God? That means what I was just telling you about what God offers. Did they change? Or did they just get back in the normal flow of stuff? Chances are they got right on back in the normal flow of stuff. Why? Because they do not know that it is required. It is required. You heard somebody say something about let the grass and the wheat grow together. Let the grass and the wheat grow together. 
let me tell you something. Evil and righteousness can't grow together. They cannot grow together. It would be one or the other. Because evil is going to do evil thing and righteousness is going to do righteous thing. And righteousness is not going to bend down to do evil. Righteousness is not going to bend down to do evil. Now, if any bending ain't going to be done, it's going to be done by evil. But evil got a plan. They figure that what they do is just kill you. And a lot of times that happens. They kill you. But it doesn't change anything. The truth is still hidden. People still needed to be free. And having followed this kind of act, they just buried themselves even deeper in sin. What the call basically is, is to say, ladies and gentlemen, you know what you've been trying all your life. Try something different. I'm not asking you right now to just all of a sudden believe in God because you know you can't do that. You can't do that unless God show you something, unless God work a miracle in your life right now where you know it's God doing a miracle. And then you will still try to dismiss it as something else. But it definitely would take it. So what I'm telling you about righteousness and telling you about evil really doesn't mean anything to you. I'm just telling you this stuff because I know it's true. And not only... Do, am I just telling you because I know it's true? I'm hoping that some of you got enough kindling within to grab some of this stuff and light a candle for God. Light a candle for God. When you light a candle for God, baby, Trump and all those plans about taking people's social security, causing more pain and suffering while the rich people get richer, and the middle class gets thinner, and the poor folks get poorer, and the big shot with all the money can hit themselves and just talk about how big they are, how masculine they are, how manly they are. And the devil says, well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that I have said something in this post and perhaps some others that will kindle you and get you going. Until next time, Eddie Marcus say goodbye for now.